All right, my name is Robert Hanna. I'm gonna be showcasing some low-tech assistive technology that we can use in our classroom. So low-tech assistive technology is um, just tools that we have in our classroom to help our students that might have a learning disability or a physical disability. Um, and these tools are not powered by a power source. They don't have batteries. They don't have screens. They're just tools that we have in our classroom already um, that make different parts of the day easier for our students with either learning disability or physical disability. Um, so one thing we're going to be talking about is the pencil. So the pencil can be kind of hard for students um, because of how just skinny they are. And so when students are working with their fine motor skills, um, it can be hard to grip on and hold the pencil correctly. Um, and I would always recommend the wooden pencil because I think that they're just a little more dense um, and they're easier to grip onto already. Now they do make different pencils that come with a grip built in, and those are great. Um, but usually we're gonna be working with kind of your classic yellow pencil. And one thing that we can do with these pencils is have a rubber band be our pencil grip. And so this is something that we can do and we simply just wrap it around the pencil. And I know it's not the most visually appealing pencil pencil grip, but you know, this is extremely accessible. This is extremely cheap. Um, it's something that you can do right on the spot, you know, and right there, we already have a pretty thick grip for the student to grab onto. Um, and so this helps because the rubber band is already naturally pretty soft and malleable because it's, it's rubber. Um, so if you have a student that's like really gripping onto it a little too hard, um, I think that the wood might be, you know, might be d uncomfortable. Um, so you could use the rubber band and just have more pencil for them to grip onto. And it's also a softer rubber and it's more malleable, which is nice. And if one rubber band isn't cutting it, then they come in packs of like a hundred. So maybe let's add a second one. So now instead of one rubber band, we're gonna be using two. And the same thing applies. We're just gonna simply wrap it around a couple times um, until it's not loose anymore. So that's pretty good. And right there, it's already, you know, that much thicker um, than working with one rubber band. Um, and so if your student needs more than two, then you can go to three and so on until you know, they have the pencil that they can work with comfortably. And so something else that we can do is like if we're working through reading text, um, it can be hard and difficult to read massive blocks of text that we see every day. And so one thing we can do is take an index card, just your standard index card. It's got lines on the back. I prefer the um, side that's just all clear. It doesn't have anything on it. And we're just gonna make um, two cuts in it that are about the, the width of a line of text. So we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut about three fourths the way through the index card and go back and clean this side up. And so then you get to this point where you got this little part that needs to come off. And so usually I just rip that off. And so you'll be left with something like this. And so this is something that students can use in their textbooks or in whatever book they might be reading. Maybe it's like a chapter book or a picture book. Um, you can also, maybe it's like a picture book with larger words, then you can scale this up and maybe take up, you know, more of the piece of paper as our kind of finder here. Um, so we can see that, you know, I know it's inverted, but um, it kind of helps to block out a lot of the unnecessary text when you're going line by line and so you can kind of move this up and down as you're reading and you can move it left to right as you go through the book and this just helps students focus in on the line of text that they're reading and not get you know mixed up and skipping lines and and stuff like that and it also doubles as a bookmark when you're done with it so if they're needing somewhere to store their little tool then it can also be a bookmark which is great and so this is something that I'm most excited about, which is why I saved it for last. Um, this is a tool that I found online and I was able to build myself at the hardware store. And this is all stuff I found at Lowe's. Um, it's very cheap, but this is like a word. It's almost like a little game, um, but it's kind of like just word recognition and word like letter manipulation. Um, I know it's inverted. 
Um, but we can, so these are six sided nuts that go around a bolt and each bolt or each nut has a letter written on it. And so you can kind of twist the words around to make different spellings. And I know it's inverted, but I mean, this is just kind of fun. Like I, I have fun with this. So like the, I know it's backwards, but like the word bass, and then you can switch that around and now you have the word boss or moss, loss, or you can switch this around. Let's see. Um, what word do we want to make next? Do I have a K? Yes, I do. Now we have the word desk. And so this is just something fun for the student to have. Um, now, when you're making this one, you got to be careful because a lot of the hex nuts that you will find are like a galvanized shiny metal. And when you go to write on them with a Sharpie that the Sharpie will just wipe off immediately. Um, I believe, and the reason this is like this weird yellow kind of gold color is because it's supposed to be like for wood and like deck building, I'm pretty sure. Um, and for whatever reason, they don't, you know, it's like a matte material. So that matte material is why I can sit here and rub on the letters and they don't rub off. Um, so it's important when you're making these that like, honestly, I brought a Sharpie to Lowe's and I would make small marks on the nuts just to test them before I bought them. Um, and I found these in, yeah, it's like the woodworking section or whatever, but yeah, so this is fun. Um, so students can have this, you know, maybe like inside recess or when they're working, um, with like English or reading, you know, it's almost like a fidget, like a, those fidget spinners they had. Um, but this is kind of the educational version. And so, yeah, they can just go through and see what different letters they can make or different words they can make. And so, yeah, that's some of the low tech I'm trying to show off and I hope this helped. And again, there's hundreds of other options, but those are just some good ones that I wanted to show off on this video here. All right. Thanks.